All right, guys, so what does it take to make an Evo 9 Turbo work in a Hyundai Genesis, Genesis Coupe? Well, in today's video, we're gonna discuss that while we take a little drive. I will tell you all the parts that I feel like you're going to need just to get this car started. Um, and then like the last three parts, uh, or four, three, um, are kind of maybe. So stick around and enjoy the video. Right, guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and uh welcome so like i said today we are going to discuss the things that you need to get the evo 8 slash evo 9 turbo conversion kit to work in your hyundai genesis coupe as soon as i can get out of the driveway hey, there we go <laughs> sorry sometimes i can't drive oh almost forgot to put on traction control so give me a minute All right, guys, so I'm actually on my way to work right now, but I wanted to make this video um, and make it a really quick video. I have a list of 10 items here, and yes, I taped them right here, um, just to give you an idea of what it takes to get started with the Evo 8, Evo 9 ISR Turbo Conversion Kit. It, I think it's very important uh, for you guys to actually have this out there, and what I'll do is I will put this list down in the description below so that way you guys have you guys can see that list just in case I'm talking too fast and if the camera's shaking I'm sorry <laughs> oops oh well so let's get right into that list so one of the one of the number one you're gonna need studs um, and you're gonna need nine in total OEM exhaust studs for the Hyundai Genesis Coupe will work that's what I'm currently using right now because the kit doesn't come with studs and obviously that's kind of important when bolting up a new turbo so that is number one number two well that would be heat wrap and a turbo blanket this turbo especially the evo 9 turbo because it's bigger is closer to the fuse box that controls the ecu your injectors and other fun stuff like that and the wiring harness is right there well that turbo gives off so much heat that it actually melted the side of that fuse box in my car yep sucks to be me fortunately it didn't get to the fuses and it didn't get to the wiring harness or else i would have been screwed now the next thing you're going to need that number three is heat reflective tape they make gold or you can go to Home Depot and buy silver heat reflective tape. Um, either one works and you're gonna wanna wrap that fuse box. Or you could do, or you can move uh, the battery to the trunk, which is in a whole other project, and move the fuse box somewhere where, to where the battery is located. It'll get it out of the way of the heat. So that's number three. And that's a big number four OEM Evo well in this case Evo 9 turbo manifold get manifold gasket or turbo metal gaskets um, the kit does come with gaskets but the material is the same type of material that you use on your exhaust um, and from what I've heard those gaskets will blow out. So you're gonna wanna replace those with the Evo gaskets because they're metal um, and they're not gonna blow out. So let me know what you guys think. That's fortunately when I bought my first Evo 9 turbo and no, I didn't blow it. Um, ISR, I had the ISR, um, I decided to get the ISR Evo 9 turbo instead. Um, I had the metal gasket still, so that was that. Sorry about that. Number number five, and this one is a biggie, and this is one I don't have right now, so I actually have to control my foot. That would be a boost controller. Why do you need a boost controller? Well, 
as I found out yesterday, fortunately nothing happened, but as I found out yesterday, um, yeah, I hit 27 PSI with this ISR EVO 9 Turbo. Yes, a boost controller, especially if you are going to run OEM internals um, and it's a BK1, yeah, you want a boost controller. So that's, that one's a big key. And I'm gonna actually get one. Even though this turbo is not staying in the car. But we'll discuss that in another. Or you can check this video out here actually. That, that was the review. So, let's see, number six. Number six, you are gonna need a blow-off valve. Why are you gonna need a, need a blow-off valve? Um, because the blow-off valve with the EVO 9 turbo, even if you're using an OEM turbo, is not on the turbo um like like the uh, like in the genesis coupe it is located somewhere else in the evo i'm not sure where but you're gonna have to get something like an hks um blow up valve like that that style not a fake hks um but and it doesn't have to be hks that's just the one the blow up valve i'm running in my car and it's going to be relocated to the intake side of the intercooler piping so a blow off out number seven now number seven you're going to you don't need right off the bat uh, but you're gonna need it if you want to get the full um, power of this turbo the, or the full potential power and that would be larger injectors now I do have larger injectors ready to go for when I go to the tuner um, and they're 750 cc injectors but right now i am currently running the stock size injectors um and part of that is because of number eight which is you're gonna need a tune now again i haven't gone to the tuner but right now i'm running my btr tuned ecu and i'm not except for accidentally except for yesterday obviously accidentally um i'm not pushing the car too hard because I'm trying to make sure I break in the motor. Um, but a tune. You're going to need a tune. Um, the next the next thing that is actually going to go into the car before I go to the tuner is I do have a Haltech uh, Pro Platinum plug-in ECU. And that's what I'm going to use the tune. The next thing you're going to need a larger intercooler bigger turbo larger intercooler you need more air and the stock intercooler just isn't gonna cut it you might be able to get away with it but if you want to tune and get the power that you need you're going to need an intercooler and the piping don't don't cheap out <sighs> this is fun isn't it <laughs> the last thing that you are I feel like you're going to need is a clutch now you could probably start off with the OEM clutch for now but again I think that's something you're just gonna need because you're obviously gonna be running a lot more power and you're gonna be able to need the, need the transmission to be able to hold that power use that power and all that other fun stuff so a clutch is definitely needed. Obviously when you get a clutch, you're more than likely gonna need a flywheel. And when I say clutch, I don't mean get another OEM clutch. I mean an aftermarket clutch. AM, um, whoever else is out there. Uh, a competition clutch, even though I heard those are really, those chatter a lot, but hey. So that is my top 10 list of items that you you should get to run the ISR EVO 8 slash EVO 9 turbo conversion kit in the Genesis Coupe properly. Now, let me know what you guys think about that list and if you have any suggestions. There aren't too many uh, videos like this out there, so I'm hoping that I covered everything. If I didn't, put it down in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, Hit that subscribe button. Go back and watch the other videos. Oh, God. Oh, my God.
Yeah. Go back and watch the other videos. Uh, go back and watch uh, this playlist right here. And enjoy. So until next time, like, share, comment, subscribe. Again, if you're new to the channel and you did hit that subscribe button, you are now Cooper. And lastly, but not least, make no limitation your only limitation.